in the beginning, WebGL was hard and there was chaos. Then came 3JS, bringing 3D graphics into a clear and magical order. Ready to create some special effects magic? Let's dive in. We're exploring particle effects using a simple particle system, which is heavily inspired by one that Simon Dev created for his YouTube channel. What I wanna to explore today is some effects that we can achieve with that basic system, really basic effects. Like for example, this kind of like um, sparkly kind of effect. Uh, in fact, making that a little more sparkly might be cool. Maybe they're just a little bit brighter now. Um, or this fire effect. Yeah, let's create a smoke effect. And I can import the get particle system from get particle system. Great. Below where I've created the cube, I'm going to say const smoke effect equals get particle system. I don't know why I put a space there. So we're gonna pass four things into here, a camera, emitter, sorry, five things, a rate and a texture. And let's make it smoke. The emitter is not that, it's the cube. The parent is the scene. Yeah, that's it. And then we just wanna uh, smoke effect dot update and we'll pass in what is approximately one sixtieth of a frame, uh, one sixtieth of a second rather. Let's see if there's any errors. There is, can't find assets slash smoke because it's not in assets, it's in S, um, nope, IMG. But I'm not seeing anything. Camera emitter, scene, oh, look at the rate. That's terrible. Thanks GitHub Copilot. Oh yeah, look at that. These little guys, little guys spinning off of there. Let's get that particle system. So there, uh, there are a few things I wanna change. I wanna change the velocity of the particles when they're created so that they kind of float up. I wanna change the size so that they're big and I can see the texture on there, change the color. And I wanna, right now they're shrinking as they get older and I want them to grow as they get older. Let's start with the color. Uh, this color spline here, I could just make them, just make them white. Just like that. Now they're staying white all the time. The max size, instead of doing being 0.15, I'm going to say 3.0. Or not, not 2.0, 3.0. Already it's looking pretty, pretty awesome. Let's just make this zero for the X velocity, zero for the Z velocity, and then up and down for the X, for the Y velocity. Actually, I did that backwards. This should be, see, 1.5? Oh, that's too fast, 1.0. So they're growing too fast, and I don't want them to have that. Um, blend mode. Let's kill the blending. And they're growing way too fast. Let's make max size two. Where's the size spline? Here it is. Oh, I see. That's why. Let's make it over their entire life. They just go from tiny to big. There we go. There's that smoke. Let's move the cube down a little bit so we can see the smoke effect a little bit better. Cube position dot set negative 0 0.75. We're still getting that clipping, but now we have a interesting smoke effect. So ideally we'll be able to, well, let's go back to fire. Let's see, fire. And uh, to change the look of this, I'm gonna modify the, um, the add particles. This part here, hang on, where, where's the top of this add particles method? Get particle system. 
Here we go. Here's the add particles. I'm going to make them so they don't live as long. Drop the max life down. Um, let's see. What else do I want to do to these guys? The size. Should, do we want to make them larger? Where is the size defined? Right here. Let's call this max size. And add this up here. Max size. Right now it's at 2. Let's make them slightly bigger. 3.0. There is a max size for particles, and it turns out on my computer, my graphics card, that max size is 512 pixels. I'm starting with a texture that's already 512. So this is a concern. Like if I crank this this value, this max size up, way up, they're not just they're not going to get that big. They just pop up to the max size and stay there. And I don't think that looks like a very good effect. So be careful of that max size. Good, they're, they're, they're not living as long, and uh, they're, they're the right size now. I could modify the velocity. We could make them go a little bit, like move a little bit more quickly. And the, the real thing that's really gonna sell them is adding this blending to the, this blending property to the material. Now it actually is looking hot. Let's just crank it up a little bit more to 50 doesn't start out that great, but it gets pretty good. We built this fire effect. Now I want to create this effect where th it, there's kind of just like these uh, floating um, dots f flying off of the, the object, uh, which is emitting particles. Let's give it a shot. We'll start with the fire and to the first thing I want to do is to change the texture from fire to circle. Okay. So good. We're in our particle system. Um, right now you got this giant kind of floaty, puffy plasma effect. Not ideal. Uh, for now, let's turn off the blending so we can see the individual guys. And I want to turn off, uh, let's see, just make the color white for now. They're way too big right now. Um, let's have a max size of 0 0.25. Tiny fraction of what it was. And let's quickly change that velocity. I'm going to grab these values here because I want to use the randomness like that. And instead of random, let's, let's say uh, max velocity like that. And come up here and make max velocity. Yeah, there, it's just slower. And now they're going to shoot out in all directions. That's sort of interesting. Um, let's change the color. So the, here they're kind of turning from pink to red. Um, let's start at yellow. And stay at yellow for a while until like three or four. And then go to what other color? Black? Let's start with black, see how that looks. Starting at yellow and then it just goes out to black. That's not bad. Not great either. How about yellow to green to black? I kind of just look green. Yellow, stay yellow, then go to green. It wants me to go to red. I don't want to go to red. So it's yellow and then green and then black. But yellow, green, and white. And the size spline, let's make this, uh, them shrink down to nothing. Um, make that four. Okay, let's see how that looks. That's not bad. It's not really great either. Let's see what the life looks like. We could experiment with making them not live very long. They just kind of pop on and pop off. 
interesting or making him live a really long time. That's sort of lovely. I think the max size is still too big. Just make it point 0.1. And it's not very magical. Um, what if I gave it this color? It's a little better. I think the size is too small. Make it slightly bigger. 50% bigger. That kind of looks like snow now. If we, I just want to see what it looks like to stop the rotation of the cube. And it's just kind of sitting there and these particles are floating off it in all directions. Huh. The, the rotation actually sells it a little better. It feels like the particles are spinning off. They're inheriting the velocity, the rotational velocity of the cube. That's pretty much it. That's the third particle effect. As always, thanks for coming by. Please leave a comment below with any questions or comments, suggestions. If you like this video and like to see more of it, consider supporting me over on Patreon. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Take care.